Hello YouTube, my name is Natero, and today I'll be bringing you how to be a stealth sniper. Now this is the playstyle I normally play with, but I don't always use these type of guns. Maybe I have a loud gun, I don't know. But without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, for starters, you always want to make sure you're in your squad by yourself, because if you don't, you'll have situations occur where you have a guy spawn on you, such as this. Sometimes it doesn't get you killed, but sometimes it does. So it's always nice to be in your own squad, unless you're going to be playing with friends that know what you're up to. So always try to be in your own squad. Or you might have this. Alright, in this situation, my buddy just dies above me, because I d jumped down to here, hopefully get away. Because I was above him at this point in time. He might have died by the BTR, but he died, but I also died, got shot in the back because of my scared. How scared I was, I got shot in the back. So always try to avoid having squad mates around you because often when there's one, there's maybe more. A good place to is to always watch for helicopters and other stuff and always keep an eye on where helicopters are at. Now I waited until he passed before I jumped down here because he has the chance of seeing me or any other vehicles. Now, I was looking for other vehicles, but that was the main point I wanted to make. This was another situation where an enemy spawned on me, but this time it worked for my favor. Use as many odd angles as you can to get to approach your enemy. Most of them weren't expecting me to be right here. This, the other guy you see to the right got scared because of what he just saw, and all I had to do was wait for him to pop back out, and presto. Never be the rooftop camper. Because if you're the rooftop camper, it may only work out for a kill or two, but you put yourself in a big, big disadvantage versus being in cover and underneath something. Because you can back away from windows and stuff like that to kind of keep yourself concealed. And also, when you go into a building, check your surroundings and make sure there's no one else in the building before you start shooting. As it did work out here, I was able to kill this guy. I'm not quite sure how I missed him, but I did. But since I heard his gunshot, I was able to know he was here, take him out, and then wait for this guy. And since my gun was suppressed, I was able to wait for this. Who was He was also above me. And get more kills than I really should have. Now, always check the entire building, but in this case, I still was able to check the building by killing that guy, waiting for him to come down and still get him anyway. Now, when you're close... Oh, blah, 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 blah. Going across big areas, always, always try to keep it some kind of concealment. And I know you're not supposed to sprint when you're trying to be stealthy or whatever, but this is an exception. When you're trying to uh, cover a big distance such as this, this is actually pretty much asking for it. This was the only representation I could really think of that was, you know, logical. But check your surroundings before you cross, then dart across, and then get over there. And try not to run around too much, but try to get to the next building as fast as possible, and then check that building. Make sure no one's there, wait around, and then just go back into your stealthing, your stealthy approach that you've been doing the entire game. One last quick tip before I end this video is never go near a ledge of any kind. Try and stay as far back from it as you can. When you're in a window, don't be right up against the window. Back up a little bit and just kind of see what you need to see. Because if you have your entire body in there, you're a bigger target for somebody. And if you see somebody, yeah, you can pop out and get the kill a little bit, but always make sure you go back and go behind cover to can keep your uh, level of stealth, I guess you could say. That's pretty much it for this video. Please like and comment and subscribe on this video. Please tell me what I could have done better, what I did wrong, and what I did right. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.